Roman from Rise Over Run Vancouver here, and today I have a special privilege of interviewing Amy, one of the founders of Pavo Everlasting Essentials, which has also been nominated twice on the Excellent Business and Nominations. So super excited to bring you this interview. Amy, thank you so thank much you. for coming on. Thank you. Yes, it's a pleasure. And so why don't we just jump right into it and why don't you share with us what inspired Avo Everlasting Essentials? Yeah, sounds great. So I'm a registered dental hygienist and so is my business partner. So everything with Avo Everlasting Essentials has been uh, created and designed and formulated by ourselves and our team of dental professionals. And we have basically, um, you know, in a short summary, been inspired by creating change for people and the planet in a positive way for future generations. So we've created a plastic-free oral care line, and we are so proud of our sustainable toothbrushes with biodegradable brush ends and our natural toothpaste, which is fluoride-free in recyclable tubes. Um, and that also was made from post-consumer resins. So. So we really pr um, took a lot of pride in the fact that we took, um, you know, the time and the re did the research to source these materials that um, we actually didn't really know were a possibility before. So we've definitely learned a lot in these last couple of years. Um, we were inspired also by our patients that would come in to see us and We've been working together in the dental industry for the last uh, few decades, my business partner and I. So we definitely had um, a lot of factors that we took into play before, you know, when we were when we were doing our research and coming up with our design aspects, everything was very mindfully, very thoughtfully created. So we'll, and we'll dive deeper into that with all the, definitely, the details. Definitely yeah. Will. So, but in overall, sorry to get back to your uh, main question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, this is perfect. We just basically, we knew there was a need for a better way to, for all of us. I mean, there's, you know, billions of people on planet earth and we, most of us brush our teeth pretty much every day, right? So we knew that there was a need for a, a sustainable way for the future. So when you go to the dentist, um, you know, every six months or so, you basically go in and have your your, your appointment, your, your hygiene appointment and, and your checkup, and then you leave with a goodie bag or a swag bag, which has your plastic toothbrush and plastic packaging and a plastic bag. So we really started thinking about those numbers because we were doing this eight times a day, five or six times a week, and the numbers just really started adding up. And then we think about, um, we as dental professionals would always recommend that you change your toothbrush every three months or every 90 days. So if everyone on planet earth is doing that that's a lot of toothbrushes that are going into the landfill that's set a lot. that's a lot so we did the math it's it's you're not gonna it's billions of pounds of plastic billions billions um so that's in our lot. lifetime it's not going to decompose and the next generation is not so we just knew that we had to create a solution and we had this idea and we just were really inspired by local small businesses and inspired by the people that were driven by passion so that fits um, hand in hand for myself and uh, Jessica, my business partner. So we're very passionate about, about what we do and providing healthcare for our patients, for patient care, it, it's one, it's an amazing, amazing thing, but it's within our clinical laboratories. And with this, we're able to help not only people outside of our dental offices, um, have a broader reach but really make an impact on the planet so we had a lot of um earth friendly ideas and to see them be possibilities with this product um, it was truly just amazing yeah. yeah so i also think it's very like very inspiring how also you've taken your career you said you know you and your business partner jessica you guys have been dental hygienists mm -hmm. for over a decade yeah and you've now taken that passion from your career to also making the planet a better place and helping the planet. So yeah, exactly. I love how you guys have done that and you've taken your career into a, the, your passion, but also into a purpose. So you've gone from you know trading your time for mm -hmm. money to now taking that passion of yours into a purpose and now doing things for the planet to make it a better place long-term for generations on. I love how you're also thinking 
for generations on. For generations on. And um, I mean, we also wanted to modernize the oral care yes, yes. essentials that we all use in our bathrooms every day. We wanted to create something that was not only doing good for, for people and the planet, um, but we wanted something that actually felt really good when you're holding it, felt really good when you're using it, but also looked really yes, good yes. when you're looking at it. Um, and yeah, we'll get into the, the, the details in, in a bit here and I'll show you some of the cool features, but definitely. And I'm just going to jump in there because of course I have one <laughs> and I absolutely love mine. And when you're using it, 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 it's like the difference of you using, um, uh, when you have a Walmart belt or you have a Louis Vuitton belt, you can feel the difference. You feel better using it. And it, it's just like with your toothbrushes, like you, you do, it, do, it does feel better and it feels cool like I love the look of them and Thank I have you. I have the matte black and Ellie has the rose gold so we absolutely love ours and um, it, it's crazy to what you said billions of pounds of plastic mm -hmm. and how you're kind of inspired from this from uh, all the, the goodie bags you're handing out after the dentist appointments so I also I also just want to touch really quickly with the one thing I never liked about those dentist goodie bags was the toothpaste. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> so I'm also excited to talk about your fluoride-free toothpaste, which we'll dive into here shortly. But why don't totally. we jump into the toothbrush and show us how these work? Yeah, of course. So we designed, and I know, so we're talking about feel, and we're gonna. I'm going to describe this as far as the feeling goes. It's very durable feeling. Yes, it feels yes, exactly. strong. It's feeling like it belongs in your hand as far as like you are one with the toothbrush. Yeah, yes, I love it. I love it. And that's your genuine passion too. But but I told, I, I actually totally agree. Like the, it, Yeah, it, it's like a it's an extension of um with all these little sensory features. It just yeah. feels really good when it's in in your in your fingertips It's here. exactly like I said, the difference between wearing a Walmart belt and then when you put on a, like a nice Louis Vuitton belt or something, right? Just as an example, that you feel the difference and you feel better using it. Yeah. I agree. Um, so we wanted to create something that was long lasting. So high quality, long lasting anodized aluminum, which means the coloring won't chip or rust. Or oh, that's anything. really cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. That was, so that's it's, really cool. it's a process in which the aluminum gets the color, the, the, like, it's like painting. Um, it's like a, it's a coated, it's like coated. electro, uh, you know what I mean? Like electronic. Um, oh my gosh. No, no, delete, I don't delete. know. I only know this because yes. I had to learn about it. Yes. Yes. Um, it's so anodized aluminum is the process in which the, an, the aluminum can have this anodized, you call it a coating. Or yeah, like perhaps, a coating. Basically, yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's going to stay this color. It's not going to chip or rust. It's a part of the painting process of aluminum. Yes, yes. Um, I love it. So that was very, uh, very cool for us to learn about, first of all. So it's an everlasting essential. And this is why the name, hence, oh my gosh, you're so good. Um, beat me to the punchline. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no. So, um, Avo, yes, of course, Avo is for the avocado, and organic avocado oil is our signature ingredient in all of our formulations. So, starting with our introductory toothpaste, there is no avocado in the, the toothbrushes. Brush? Okay. Um, but this is the everlasting part. So, you nailed it, oh, Roman. So, the, the toothbrush, toothbrush handle is essentially for you to keep for life. Um, of course, you want to change the color or whatever, whatnot. Uh, aluminum is infinitely recyclable. Mm -hmm. So awesome. with the brush cool. ends, um, I love the toothbrushes. These are black, and we chose that for aesthetic purposes. The bristles are also a natural fiber made from castor bean oil. That so is so cool. they're not made out of nylon or polyester like the traditional plastic wow. toothbrushes are. And there is like a angulation or like a groove or a curve uh, yeah. shape in the shape of the brush head, and that's for a few different reasons. And one is for it to allow for effective air drying all the way around. So like a 360 air dry. So on these guys on the mirror, you can just see there's there's nothing touching the surface. Yeah, it doesn't touch when you put it up against the magnet here. And you also have the magnet that sticks to the mirror, which I love. Which That's is really right. Cool. Yeah, so Roman, yeah, I'm going to let you grab that black one and yeah, just kind of This is the one I there. have, the matte black. And I think it, like, it reminds me of the matte black G-Wagon I want. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I love yeah, that. That's what it reminds me of. And it feels like it too. And so this um, 
was really thoughtfully designed as far as like the feeling. So we wanted the end to be nice and rounded. So when it's in your hand, it's nice and comfortable and these little texturized finger grooves, which help you with remembering not to brush so aggressively, um, which we talk a lot oh, that, that's about. That's key, I brush pretty aggressively, I think. Yeah, so we always want to hold it like it's a pen or a pencil and then, and then go up and brush your teeth. Interesting, because, interesting. I yeah. learned something new. I've taken notes. All those, um, you know, aggressive toothbrushing habits usually come from wanting to grip the toothbrush and then just scrub yeah, away. Yeah. So we, we tr Jessica and I both focus a lot on education and so you can find a lot of tips and tricks on our socials. That's awesome. Um, that's for good to know. oral care. So yeah, that's kind of where we like to um, put a lot of our focuses on is, is just having like these conversations then someone's like, oh my gosh, I just learned something new. Yeah, right? so, so cool. So I will put all of their information all the, and down in the description, their social media, their Instagram handles and their website. Make sure you give them a follow and stay up to date with all the new education that they're going to keep posting. So um, this is the part that's super cool. And this is why we're so proud of the design features because we, we love showing them off. So this is um, the patent pending Avo toothbrush. And when it's time to replace the biodegradable brush end, you simply turn the bristles down and there's a button on the back here with our Avo logo on it. So one thumb on that, and then the other thumb just goes on the back of the bristles and you just do a downward pull. So that's the mechanism that keeps that brush head in there securely for the three months. And then when it's time to take it out, that's the way to remove it. That's perfect. Um, and then, like you were mentioning the magnetic part, I mean, I think that's the cool, like yeah, one of the that. absolute coolest features. So it's an optional magnetic storage strip that comes in your starter kit and you can peel the adhesive and put it on your mirror or inside of a cupboard or inside of a drawer, wherever you want to store your toothbrush. And even if you choose not to use it and you just want to put it flat on, onto a, a countertop, um, same thing, it'll never touch the surface there. So there's always that 360 air dry, which really helps inhibit the bacteria. I know people are like talking or thinking about this, but there there is bacteria. Oh, definitely <laughs> a lot. And especially if you're just placing it around your sink. Or... Yeah, and like, you know, sometimes they're like in the cup. Yeah. And then yeah, like yeah. the bottom is like, ew, so, so. It can get yeah, really. It can get, so we've seen it all, folks. Yeah, <laughs> we, I, I can imagine. We've seen it all. We've um, So we really put all those factors um, into consideration when we're being mindful about all the design um, yeah. features on the brush. Yeah, no, I think they're absolutely amazing design. And I actually love that feature, how you have the 360 air dry. It doesn't actually, because I've, I've actually, I actually remember sometimes when I haven't stuck it to the magnet, mm -hmm. I've just set it down for a second. And I always sit it on the, like on the edge of the sink or the edge of the counter so it doesn't touch, but I don't even have to do that. That's right. Because it has that design built into it. So that that's really cool. I love that huge um feature and actually i'm just demoing on this model tooth here but when this uh, angle is like this it actually helps you reach your back molars better too oh, because really? your teeth and that it's not a straight line going back like yeah. so your mouth is curved it's not <laughs> straight <laughs> so this angle is actually to complement the archway and to complement um, the angle of the teeth and to allow you to reach your back molars better with the smaller brush heads. So you can actually clean a lot more effectively as well. I like that. Uh, There's a lot, that size, a lot so. of thought that has gone into the design. Now, what I said before is um, when the dentist would give me my goodie bag, the one of the things I didn't like was the toothpaste because of the there's actually i found sugar in, in some of the toothpaste, the crest and stuff like that for the taste. And then as well, fluoride, of course, and other things like this. So mm -hmm. why don't you share with us more about your, your toothpaste totally, yeah. and everything about it? Of course. So this is Avo's uh, first introductory formulation for our toothpaste. So it's refreshing mint with organic avocado oil. And organic avocado oil will always be our signature ingredient going forward um, with our formulations as well. So... As a dental hygienist, uh, both Jessica and I, we had this question come up a lot, almost almost every Why day. Why avocado? No, the question okay. was, which natural toothpaste do you recommend? Okay. And like our patients would come in and ask yeah, us, yeah. and we, like, my answer, her answer would, would be the same. Like, mm, we can't honestly recommend any um, as far as, you know, there's no, fa like there wasn't anyone that we loved or that was a favorite or one that we recommended. I it's kind of like, mm. I actually totally agree with you. I do use 
natural toothpaste as well, fluoride free, so on and so forth. But it, I don't have a a favorite or a go to. Well, until now. Or like a oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yes, yes. yes. I, I just have to jump in. This is actually this tastes absolutely amazing. I was actually very shocked when I first tried yeah. it because it is so much better than the other natural toothpaste that I have used. Thank and you. It, and oh. not gonna lie, it almost has like this little bubble gum flavoring to it, which I noticed, which yeah. I really like. And it does feel absolutely like very fresh after you're done. Where some of the some of the natural toothpaste, you don't get that freshness feeling. So Yeah. So that was really the the you know the the driving point on this one was that we wanted to create something that was clean and natural ingredients for anyone who has sensitivities or hypersensitivities to anything. Um, sodium lauryl sulfate is an ingredient we do not have. So we're fluoride free, sulfate free, paraben free, preservative free. I love it. Um, no artificial co colorings or, or dyes. So actually, so Roman, you, you know, it's interesting. We all have different taste buds, right? So yes, yes. what you picked up on as what you're describing as a bubble gum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're not so alone. Good. You're not alone. We all have our own way of, of coming up with uh, what that description is. Yeah, yeah. So we put natural vanilla bean. Flavor oh, wow. into the toothpaste, so that's our flavor is yeah, natural, natural, and that's kind of a, you know, sh so that's a secret. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is that's like a that's the secret. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. the secret recipe. Um, so it's natural vanilla bean with the peppermint, wow. and it's that combination, mix. it's a very beautiful mix. So yes. yeah, we've had um, all you know positive five star reviews coming in, which has been so amazing. And we're just, we're ready to share it with the world. Yeah. Yes. It's definitely a five star. Like, like Thank I said, you. I was genuinely surprised when I first, first, you like when it first hit my mouth. Like I was like, wow, this is actually really good. And, um, awesome. Thank and, and you. yeah, like you mentioned, like even with the other natural toothpaste, there's many different kinds out there. I've gone through a lot of them, but I never found one that I wanted to keep going back to. So I just keep kind of going through them and no, yeah. this is by far the best one I've ever, ever used. That's sure. so wicked. Thank you. I appreciate that. So our toothpaste is fluoride free, sodium lauryl sulfate free, paraben free, preservative free. I love it. The list goes on and on. Cruelty free. It's vegan. It's gluten free. So I can't even believe that they put all that stuff in toothpaste. Like we're brushing our teeth and it's actually decaying our teeth if you're not using natural toothpaste like this. It's um, something that we're, you know, a lot more mindful of what we're putting into our bodies, yes. for sure. So instead of the fluoride, we decided to use xylitol. Xylitol um, is a plant-derived sweetener from things like birch um, and corn husks. But what we found in the dental industry, and this is based on evidence-based uh, research, that xylitol is proven to inhibit the growth of the bacteria. Mm -hmm. So the bacteria that causes cavities, xylitol is proven to, to change or alter that bacteria. So it has a significant, um, you know, effectiveness to help not only with, you know, essentially cavities or decay, um, but it also helps with another thing, which is saliva stimulation. Yes, saliva, okay, okay. yeah, so like our saliva is really important. A lot of people really don't, we don't really think about this, but our saliva in our mouth with our tongue is like a natural cleaning mechanism like if yes, you don't have a toothbrush yes. so when you eat food and it gets caught in your teeth or it gets caught in those grooves you use your tongue without even thinking about it and you use your saliva to yeah. move those particles away definitely and actually one thing with me is I'm always talking. I drink a lot of coffee too, which I got to change. But I noticed. I noticed <laughs> or the, not change. I'm yeah. not going to make you change the coffee. <laughs> I, I love coffee. But I noticed that actually after, especially doing an interview like now, like you need water constantly. So this is a good point. So dry mouth. Yeah. So when you have a drier mouth, you're more prone to cavities because you don't have that like washing, you know, the that washing away. So mm. saliva stimulation is really important. So wow. if you see xylitol in ingredients out there in gum, mints, you know, when you're out at the corner store, it's actually a good ingredient. It's a good, it's a very good ingredient because it will help produce, um, stimulate that saliva, produce more saliva for you. So and fight the cavities. Inhibit yeah. Them. Oh, yeah. So awesome. it's like a natural cavity fighter for that reason too. Right. So, so follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, on our website. Um, you can find us there. All our contact information is there. Shoot us a message. If you have any questions at all, we'd be happy to hear from you and happy to help. Yeah. So I'm going to have all their information down in the description. I'm actually learning so <laughs> much. So you guys have to follow their Instagram and stay up to date with their education. 
and just yeah I'm, I'm learning a lot myself and this is something that's very important so thank you so i love it adding yeah. a lot of value to the community thank you um, we're so thrilled um we've been um honored by the requests and the invitations that have been coming in and then also the nominations have been really um just you know so honoring especially since we're in our first year yeah, as definitely. a startup let's talk about that so uh, <laughs> in, in their first year so avo everlasting essentials is in their first year of business and they've been nominated you share thank you you two nominations so yes. absolutely amazing congratulations thank you thank you we have a community award um which we have made it to the finalists for an innovation award the finals. and um, also in our local community uh, mission we have been nominated for the business excellence awards and in the category of home-based business of the year so That's we just amazing. launched um you know like less than half a year ago so we're just like super excited for what the future has in hold and we just you know this at this point we just want to get it get um get all this goodness out there like yeah, absolutely. we just want to Amazing. share because we've we've been working on it for, for a few years now so we're just yeah, so the, excited it, for everyone else to use it too yes it's so cool it's just there's so much thought that's actually gone into the design now that you're explaining it it's just actually really cool to everything that you've put into it and the mission that you're on just making the world a better place reducing plastic for generations to come it's just absolutely inspiring and the fact that you guys are just a year in the business not even and you have two nominations for innovative award this is very innovative so absolutely awesome and um and then your second nomination was for number one home business so yeah so cool. it's, it's absolutely just like mind-blowing it's been it's been such a, a you know a wild roller coaster ride of this entrepreneur um space that yeah, we're definitely. in because awesome. we're dental hygienist and coming into you know being a small business owner is um it's just been really thrilling <laughs> yeah and it's a total new world because you go from a career that you've been in for you know over five years or so mm -hmm. and then you're getting into business and just and, and it's innovative business like you started this from scratch you created the product and yeah. making the product like it's very very inspiring and really thank cool to you see. so we can't wait for our future formulations, we have our expanded product line already in the works. Um, so stay tuned for a kids line. And oh, that's super cool. For and I do want to just say that um, future flavors as well for the toothpaste and future formulations. So we are just so thrilled to be working with an amazing team. And I also just wanted to say that we're women owned and operated. So I just want to give a shout out. Yes. <laughs> the inspiring women in our in Avo's life. It's it's actually been really meaningful to have um, met everyone we have with with this new um, you know this passion project essentially. Yeah. So uh, it's been very, um, very fulfilling already, and we're just starting. Yeah, it's absolutely yeah. amazing. Like, I'm very inspired, and it, it, the fact you know it's 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 you and Jessica. That's right. You and Jessica both going out there, coming out of a career, going into business, first year getting nominated. You guys are going show to show, doing they're doing everything it takes to get their name out there and to get their product out there and make a difference. So they're doing what it takes and they're going to get the results they deserve. So you guys have to try the Avo toothbrush and the toothpaste. I'm very excited for the flavors coming out that you said that there's more flavors coming. And I know we're talking about some other colors mm -hmm, coming out. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very excited to see what's to come. Yeah. Kids line, I think that's very essential and, uh, and it's awesome. So yeah, we're just, we're just so happy. We're just so happy and so excited at this point. It's at really cool yet. to see. So now I want to ask, because I'm very curious, like how does someone start um, a product like this or a business like this, like for other entrepreneurs out there who maybe have ideas and are innovative, how does this happen? So you just have to start talking about it and sharing. <laughs> yes, that's um, so you have to start just like really putting it out there. And I don't really know how else to say it. So we had this idea, we started, um, you know, obviously we had to like put it into Google and like learn. So we were like punching in all how to, how to, yes. how to. So we like did a lot of, we just started with basic research and, and then it just, you just go deeper and deeper. And then as you're researching, you actually will come across people in that field or that area that can help you. So what worked with us 
was that we were able to partner with an amazing team in Salt Lake City, Utah, and they helped us take our idea from um, the idea we had and design, engineer, and you know, produce, manufacture. So we have been, you know, very grateful for the amazing um, positive vibes that we've had, just because we we did have to. That was our we had to source out because yeah. that is something that was. Um, outside of our our that's not specialty our, yes yes that definitely. is not you have, our to, you have to source out we had to yeah, yeah source out partner with and um, we just knew that we wanted to stay in our lane which was being registered dental hygienist focusing on the education the quality of the products and also I just did want to uh, say that they're Health Canada approved as well oh yes yeah. that's huge mm-hmm. so Health Canada approved that's super awesome yeah. to hear. And yeah, it's just it's just very inspiring that you guys created this from scratch. You've already been nominated, and you're totally right. Like you just have to speak it into existence, right? Mm-hmm. I know with one of the interviews I've done in the past, my friend Jason said, "Write everything down," because it's the first step of taking something from a thought to real life, mm-hmm. and then speaking it out into existence is is like law of attraction. Like yeah, you said, like you totally. and your business partner started looking things up, talking about it. Then you're gonna, you know, meet someone who's maybe in that field, or, or know somebody, or know someone in that yeah. field. So, oh, that's absolutely cool. That, that's perfect advice as well for anyone who has an idea or a product. Just start, start talking about it, and then don't feel um, overwhelmed. Don't feel about all the steps. It's it's yeah. Don't think too far into the future. I mean, yeah. this is what works for me. I'm like, okay, let's not like go too far and get overwhelmed. I just want yes. to like focus on the small goals and it's like, ooh, got that meeting done or ooh, got yes. that contact. So the small steps and don't be discouraged because we actually did have a lot of, um, um, we had a lot of uh, deviations to our original business plan, okay, um, yes, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. just a part of the normal. It is, yeah. So don't feel too set in stone if it's like not how you thought it was going to go or not how you planned it to go because it probably won't go how you planned yes, it to go. It, it never usually does. They say make a plan, but the, it never goes as planned. Anyways. Yeah, and the plan is just, you know, it, it, for us, it's been um, learning as we go. Yes, I love that. Yeah, so. and, and it's good to set like goals and like where you want to be in the future. But what I love about you said is don't get overwhelmed with thinking about how you're going to get there. Just, like, just know, know that you will get there. You will get there, exactly. And that's the trust. Yes, and so be, be fearless. Just trust. Yeah, tr- trust the process. I love that you said that. But um, it's it's literally putting trust in yourself. So you're investing mm. in yourself. So believe yeah. it, believe it, believe in yourself. Yeah, so it's and so uh, tr- trust that you know you will get there. But don't be too stuck on how. The yes. how is the part that might change. And go with the flow. Be be flexible. I like this. Um, a lot of times people will say no to you too. So. Uh, we've had a lot of no's and um, that was one of the challenges as a brand new startup and yeah. when we were getting our original uh, funding is that, th- that sometimes people say no and, yes, and that's okay but that doesn't mean you have to stop. 100%. Yeah. I always look at the no, definitely when you're new to business you get a lot of no's because people don't maybe see the vision that you see so mm-hmm. on and so forth or they want to see the results first. Right, That's but, actually what happened to us. They yeah, wanted to yeah, see yeah. the results. They uh, they were wanting to see the results of like, like revenue. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, but we haven't created the product but yet. You have so to give us the chance <laughs> to get the results. And, uh, so doesn't... just don't give up. Just keep going because the right people you will find um, to work with, and it it will just all come together like a really nice puzzle piece. Just if you stay focused and positive about it. Yes, I love it. Yeah. And then law of attraction there is so huge. And what I always think of when it comes to no and O, I said this to a friend the other day, he was making some cold calls. I just said, look at as a no as next opportunity. Oh, that's a good one. Right? And O, next opportunity. I'm going to quote you on that. Yeah, just, go yeah. ahead. It's I'm going to quote yours, you on that. Because I quoted it from someone. <laughs> so you can take it as well. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I, yeah. Really, um, I really like that. Well, I actually want you to share. We were actually having a conversation before the interview. And this goes hand in hand with Rise Over Run Vancouver and Avo Everlasting Essentials. Yeah. Why don't you share with the community what you're sharing with me about the, the scary movie you're watching? Yeah, totally. So um, I had this time in my life uh, previously where I was really hesitant to watch movies that I found to be scary or um, no, horror, movies or... horror movies or whatever. And um, just up until recently, and that's actually in line with the launch of Avo, is that that fear of watching these scary movies has 
has actually gone away and I have become um, just in, in all avenues of my life a very fearless individual um, along with the launch of with the company. And a good example of that is um, I was actually just watching Signs the other day and that movie scares me because I'm like, this is so real. <laughs> that, I leave water glasses that everywhere. That funny. Like, oh, oh my, my gosh, goodness. I leave glasses of water everywhere. This is so real. Okay. <laughs> so Mel Gibson oh, turns and he's, yeah. they're, they're watching all that stuff happen on the TV. They're, he turns to Joaquin Phoenix and he's, he says, there's two types of people in this world. And this is me uh, paraphrasing Mel Gibson. So don't quote me on this one. This okay. is good. So he goes, the first group of people live in worry and in fear. And every action, everything they do is always within that world of fear. And then the second group of people is a group of people that believes in hope and miracles. And which person are you? And that's kind of the, the sweet, quick and dirty of yeah, how, you're living your life. how you're living your daily life. And it's a choice of the everyday choices we make of I'm going to wake up and smile and, and be happy with and trying my best every day or I'm and give up and quit and not try at all. And the world's so. horrible and all this stuff. Yeah, and, and it's so true because there's you know two ways we get to live. We live in fear or we live in optimism and faith. Right? I always say faith over fear. And what I love about that is is that when you're living in faith or you're living in optimism, you're not making fear based decisions. Because when you are living in fear, you're making all your decisions and choices based off fear. You're what you're doing for an income how you um, react to things. And when you're living in faith and in hope, right, you're responding rather than reacting. I love that. And, and you, it's just such a more peaceful way to, to go through life. And you also attract, right? And, you know, you also attract a different outcome to life when you're living like that as well. So I absolutely love that quote. It goes hand in hand with, you know, everything we're discussing and Rise Over Run and so on. Yeah, so thank you so for cool. sharing. Yes. Of course, of course. Thank you for having me today. That was, that yeah. was awesome, Roman. Yeah. Absolutely thank amazing. You. So What's been the best is going out for community events and we've been doing summer markets and shows, like you said, and really engaging with people. And these are fresh new faces. These are people that don't know me. They're not my patients from the dental clinic. This is a whole, you know, a whole new population. So to be able to share uh, just my passion for what I'm doing and just speaking about it is probably my favorite part and the creative aspect of it. As, just the, I love yeah, this. So the, yeah. this is a new answer, actually. So this is oh, something really? we haven't got yet. So just the networking, just networking with other entrepreneurs. Yeah. This it's is so a, much fun. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. This is coming from Amy, who's been a dental hygienist for over 10 years. And she she's now new into business, a new entrepreneur. And what she loves most is the networking and getting out there <laughs> with the community and sharing what she's most passionate about. I absolutely yeah. love that. Like, I just want to say to all the entrepreneurs out there, I love you all. I think yeah. you're all awesome um, as far as like how... It's been such a receptive, engaging, inviting, loving, kind community. Yes, yeah, um, I agree. And everyone that I, I have encountered and interacted with in this space has just been so supportive. And we're all, you know, very positive, like-minded as far as like um, working towards goals. Yes, yes, and, exactly. And uh, so goal-oriented. And it's just been really um, just lovely for me. <laughs> I know I'm like, I can't stop I love smiling. That. I love it so um, much. So I just, yeah, it's been really nice just to um, meet everybody that I've met up until this point. And I just can't wait to, to interact with more people. Yeah. I think that's amazing. And you're right. It's an absolutely amazing community. That's one of the reasons why I started Rise Over Run was to support these entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. support the business owners out there because it is a very welcome community. And a lot of entrepreneurs have a vision to provide for the community, right? We all have a purpose or a passion that we want everyone to experience yeah. and, and feel. So that's what I absolutely love about it as well. The yeah. networking, meeting all the different entrepreneurs, the goal oriented. Um, seeing a need and like, and having a solution for it, you know, yes. seeing a problem and having a solution rather. Um, I love that. So we really, yeah, I, I, that problem solving. Yeah, um, that, that is right? entrepreneurship. Yeah. Entrepreneurship yeah. 101, I, I'd yeah. say it's problem solving. You're, you're, it's you're, problem solving. You're finding a problem within society and then you want to bring a solution to it. And, and you don't need much sleep. 
<laughs> Great. So we're we're the night owls. <laughs> someone said. Uh, someone said. Do you want to know what it's like being an entrepreneur? And then they asked, "Have you ever drank a Red Bull to relax?" Oh my God. <laughs> That's like, the life, right? It's like twenty four seven. Yeah, so yeah. This is a brand new space for me, but I'm I'm really happy to be here. Yeah, um, absolutely yeah. love it. So, with that being said, now Amy and her business partner Jessica, um, they've been nominated as well in the Business Excellence Awards. So, I want you to share what it, but like you guys are killing it in your first year, just absolutely killing it, doing whatever it takes. What advice do you have for other entrepreneurs out there that have an idea, want to get started, or maybe they already have a product and they have started and they want to get their feet off the ground? Yeah, I would definitely reach out to the your local community first because I think um, what I experienced is that the local community, they're there for you. Mm -hmm. um, so you definitely want to support and, you know, be proud of where, where you're from and, yes. and uh, they actually you know, they want to support you too. So oh, yeah. it goes both ways. So I would definitely reach out to local resources, um, but join those Facebook groups, um, join, you know, you know, find. Rise over run. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, join those, join those, uh, you know, join groups, those all. pages, join them all, but like find, you know, find your tribe is, yeah. is kind of what it, what it comes down to. So just keep talking about it, keep sharing because the right people will come along and yeah, just, um, just keep going. I love that. And, and it's so true. When you are working towards your mission and you're building something, you may lose some friends, but you also attract new ones. And, and, and when you are pursuing something and you're pursuing your passion, you will attract the right people into your life. And, and you'll start meeting new people that, that are there to help really help you level up and get to where you want to go. It's just an absolutely amazing thing. Like you said, like you getting into entrepreneurship and you know your favorite thing being the community and the people awesome. and it must just be like a common trait of entrepreneurs but like entrepreneurs really want to help other entrepreneurs yeah, so yeah, it's exactly. just like a thing so just get out there and and you know it might be uncomfortable or sh if you know you're um that's not your normal like kind of vibe is to like be out there but um just just go for it because you just never know what you're gonna get back yeah yeah, yeah. and that's absolutely amazing you're absolutely amazing. Thank that was a phenomenal, you. phenomenal interview. Thank you Thank for you. coming on the show, Amy. Thank you for sharing everything about your product. You guys have to, <laughs> have to, have to try the toothpaste. And these toothbrushes are the new coolest thing, the new coolest trend. I'm telling you, you guys have to get the toothbrush. It feel, it, it's just a whole nother feeling when you're brushing your teeth, I promise you. And I really see these taking over the whole market. Thank like you. like Starbucks has replaced s plastic straws with paper straws. I'm just thankful your toothbrushes aren't paper. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's actually actually a very good point. I just want to say that even though like these brush ends will disappear from planet Earth and they will biodegrade, they will not biodegrade while you're using them. In your them. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Actually, that's, that's a good. key point. That's uh, a key yeah, point. Yeah. yeah, it's not going to biodegrade while you're brushing with it, um, but within you know an X amount of time on planet Earth, it will disappear in the so, ground. So you don't yeah. have to worry about that. You don't but have the, to worry about the that. The quality <laughs> is absolutely amazing. I have been using mine. I have been using the toothpaste, and honestly, it just brings a whole new experience to brushing your teeth. And the toothpaste is absolutely amazing. Like I'm, I'm super, I'm super impressed with the toothpaste. So I absolutely love it. So for Rise Over Run, we're gonna have a special promotion, fifteen percent off. So I'm gonna put all their all their information down in the description. You'll have their website, Instagram handles, and you can order through sending us a DM, a direct message, or you can simply shop on their website. But if you want to take advantage of the fifteen percent. Just send me a DM. I'll connect you with Amy. Sounds good. Amy will take care of you. Or just reach out to Amy and she'll Perfect. be more than happy to help. But absolutely love what you're doing. Thank and you. And everybody, go vote. I'll also put the oh, link. Thank you. Vote. The everybody, links in yes, bio. yes. Yeah, links, the links in their in bio, bio on Instagram. So I'll have your Instagram handle. Go to their Instagram. Go to the link. Vote for them. Uh, what's the two nominations? It's the Innovative Award and home-based business of the year and home-based business of the year yeah very inspiring so cool not even a year in business i already have these kind of nominations you guys are you guys have a bright future ahead thank you we're so excited um stay tuned we'll be 
We're actually going to be soon to be published as well um, in a book and a magazine. Oh, no up. way. So, this is exciting. We'll be sharing that. So we'll be definitely, um, you know, popping up more um, as far as you guys will be seeing Avo, you know, everywhere. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. And that that's what it truly takes. Like they're at every market. They're doing everything they can to get their name out there. And they're not stopping now. So that's right. It's a great example for the community as well. So thank you, Amy. Really Thank appreciate you. your time. That was Thank awesome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes. <laughs>